Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you guys about the most private cloud that you can host yourself. You can actually host your own .onion site in the Tor network and run it right off a of Raspberry Pi and have the next cloud system all set up for you. First off, the Tor network, as we've talked about in previous videos, you are here, when you connect to an Onion site, you are bounced through various nodes. Anytime it's an Onion domain, you will hit several nodes more than if you were to go to a .com domain from the Tor browser. It is not on the web. It's actually on the dark web. And I can still yet share files as I need to integrate everything into this nice NextCloud ecosystem. So this is the NextCloud interface. As I mentioned, it's a .onion domain. You can see up at the top, it connects through several different relays before it even reaches my Pi NextCloud. Now, you could set one of these up yourself if you are familiar with Apache and Tor networking. If you do get a Torified cloud from me, I will be putting part of that towards the Tor project and the next cloud project. Just send an email if you want one, and if not, I highly suggest looking into setting one up if you are up for the challenge. There's a lot of configuration. I was thinking of doing a video on how to, but it would be an extremely long video because there are many files that you would have to edit. You have the ability to back up the files. You can share them with people privately. Uh, this is not accessible by search engines. It is not accessible. You don't have to worry about registering a domain. You know, once it's set up, you don't have anything to worry about. You have your own onion domain. It is secure. There is no accessibility from the regular internet. Now, of course, there's other options for hosting your cloud, but this is by far the most private. You can also talk to other users. You can add users, and it's all integrated in a highly secure system. If you're a journalist, for example, you could use this as a Dropbox for your sources to drop off information for you without exposing their identity or their IP address. As I mentioned, it connects through several different nodes before it even reaches your cloud server. And it is your cloud server. You don't have to worry about a hosting company or renting a server space, which of course you have to worry about, can you trust some of those hosts? You have to wonder certain virtual machines will be accessible by those hosts. And you do need to be concerned about that if your priority is privacy. So I've put up some different documents and files just, you know, show with you guys how easy it is. You can just hit this plus here and upload as many as you like. And from here, there are all different types of ways you can keep in touch with other people. As I mentioned, you can even add other users and you have the administrator account where you're able to completely control everything and also make sure people aren't getting into your system. There is also settings for security, settings for two-factor authentication, which is where you use a second form of authentication to ensure that you have an extra layer of security. So as you can see here, there's this conversation with Justin. There's also, of course, the ability to have encrypted video calls. That's another really cool feature of NextCloud. It's a awesome cloud system, open source, of course. Uh, everything I mention is open source. The reason I do that is because everything that you can trust is open source. And I really don't believe you can trust anything that isn't open source because, you know, the fact is you're able to audit the code yourself. We can make it accessible through email only. And you can also link other clouds together. That's another really cool thing about this, sharing across different next clouds. So if you have friends with next clouds and you want something exceptionally private, sharing or conversation wise, encrypted, uh, you could then share different things as you can see in this example link here. You could copy and share across the cloud. If you were to just use a VPN, for example, you have to worry about weak encryption, VPN software failures, which sometimes leak your IP address. Then you also have varied logging processes, which is an issue considering that many uh, VPN providers, especially the free ones, say they don't log, but when in fact they need to supply logs, they are quick to find them. So a lot of times this is a sales pitch as mentioned. Of course, I'm not saying all VPN providers are bad. 
I do not believe that's the case. But at the same time, you're much safer and much more private when you are hosting your own server and you're hosting it as a Torify domain. There are ways to have encrypted conversations. It's an entire ecosystem. We've got this little conversation here. It's just a test here. Of course, I'm logged in as the admin. Then we have Justin S account here. The most private way to have your very own cloud. And as I mentioned, this is only accessible through the Onion domain. So it's accessible through Tor. That makes it exceptionally private. You know, if I thought there was enough interest, I might do a video on setting it up from scratch, but it would take several videos as YouTube limits me to 10 minute videos. And I just don't think I'd get enough viewers. As mentioned, if anyone does want one, I will of course be putting a portion of those proceeds towards the next cloud and the tour project, because I think they both provide an amazing service and they really deserve donations. With the iCloud, it's fully accessible by Apple. In fact, the key is stored by Apple. Do you really, you know, trust every employee? Personally, I don't. I don't trust any employee of any large corporation. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do. You can do server-side encryption where everything you upload is encrypted. And as you can see, for the Federated Cloud, I could share this with others if I want to, you know, join this open cloud mesh. And it's just another really cool thing you can do with the Nextcloud system. Having it a Tor-based Onion address and hosting the cloud yourself, it is the most private. It is just your best option. If you're looking for a way to access your files, maybe you need to access a book you know, from all devices and you don't want to store it on your machine, you can access it securely and privately through this Onion domain using the Tor browser. And you can also integrate it to your other machines as a full ecosystem with private encrypted messages and video chats. That's what I got today, guys. I like, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back later with more on the Pine Phone. Pine Phone video coming up next. Be back later with more on how you can protect your privacy.